like seriously so so great you're the nicest sweetest bravest person I've ever had the pleasure of knowing I still remember when we met in year nine and you sat next to me in English and I just thought who is this little girl? Because you were so much younger than me when well, you seemed it. But then you totally sassed out that teacher we had. You just corrected her on something and was like, actually, no, it's not Tamblyn the Big, it's Tamblyn the Great. And she did this big double take. It looked like she was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> and she asked how old you were and you had to say you were 12 and then explained that this wasn't a year 13 class. And it was just so, so good. I knew we had to be mates after that. Yo, Hero, I gotta tell you this, you are my favourite Duke. Oh shit, wait, apart, apart from Beatrice. Well, anyway, I wish I could pop over there and drink tea with you, but I can't. I wish I could come over and eat birthday cake too. Mmm, birthday cake. Anyway, anecdotes. Uh, I always cherish those incredibly intellectual conversations about Doctor Who we have. David Tennant's hair, the Ood, the Marlowe Code. I don't think any story proves just how nice you are any better than uh, the Christmas of 2004 when we had this really big family Christmas. Everyone was really excited because everyone was all together and it was Christmas time and you seemed really sad, which was odd because you love Christmas. And um, yeah, you'd spent like hours making this little box for Leo and you'd made earrings for Antonia and this beautiful bracelet for Imogen, going all out as usual. But you seemed really sad and so I pulled you aside and like forced you to tell me what was wrong with you. You had gotten up in the night to get a glass of water and you had seen your parents filling your stocking. So you knew that Santa wasn't real, but you didn't want to tell them in case they got upset. But anyway, you were very worried and it was very sweet, even though it was a little bit ridiculous. Hero, you need to know this is not of my own volition. Happy birthday. Merriest of birthday greetings to you, our fellow sleuther extraordinaire and brilliant book editor. Your winning of the school short story competition was immeasurable proof of your capability to this task. Chapter two should be in the mail to you, imminently. Hey Hero, I really hope you're having a good birthday. Apologies for the quality of my webcam, it's the best I can do right now. I remember on the first day of kindergarten when you and I both really liked the story that the teacher told us at mat time, and so we pretended to be squirrels for the rest of the day. Hey Hero, you're a really kind person. Uh, it's really awesome to know you. I really like your clothes. Uh, you always dress really nicely, I mean. I hope you have a really cool birthday this year and um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you seem really cool. Happy birthday! Oh my god, 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 that was terrible. I remember ages ago you brought me around to introduce me to your mums. Like they had, like your whole family had a really good vibe and you know when you meet someone and like they really get where you're coming from and it's just like ah uh, yeah <laughs> so thanks for being one of those people and it's been really neat hanging out with you over the last couple of years and yeah i think you should quit school come join us in wellington except don't because i know school is actually like you like school and it's pretty important for me to make sure you're having a good time look after yourself and i think that'd make all of us pretty happy hero i really hope you have a great birthday I'm really sorry about last year. I think you're great. And really nice. And a lot stronger and more confident than people give you credit for. Sweet. Hi Hero. Uh, I know you don't know me very well, but I see you around school <laughs> and you seem super nice. So have a really, really great birthday. See you at mix sometime. Hey little sis. Have a great birthday. I'll be there. It'll be fun. I think you made a good call having a, a family dinner this year. I'm looking forward to it. And um, you know, you got a freak when you find out when mum and mama have booked your birthday feast. Your happiness is seriously one of the best things in this universe. One of the other best things you've done in this universe is when you uh, <laughs> led a chorus of bears and action men to play out a musical version of Artemis Fowl for me. I could ramble on to you about time paradoxes and warp holes in space until the camels come home, hero. You really get me on that, thank you. We wish your day to be sparkly and Pleasant. Love from Burgess and I. Happy birthday, Hero. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. You deserve it. Um, you know, I just think you're the best cousin ever. You have a trophy to prove it. So, how many other cousins have trophies? None. So, you win. I've loved being your brother for 17 years now. You know, me teaching you stuff, you teaching me some stuff. Yeah. It's been cool. Love you, eh? I really hope you have a good day, Hero. You're such a good friend. Happy birthday, Hero. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday. Later birthday! Pew pew! I love you, and I hope that you enjoy this little compilation of clips from everyone. And just remember that I love you the best, and you're amazing. <laughs> Bye!